Hello and welcome back. This is our part two of the holiday marketing and sales conversation with yours truly, LaShonda Henry, inside of the Sense Firestarter Circle community. Welcome. So definitely let me know who you are and where you are in this beautiful world today. Feel free to check in with me via the chat, number one, as we go through our conversation. If you have any questions or comments, again, the chat box is here for you. Um, If you're listening via the replays, you always have an opportunity also to check in. If you're new to the circle, extra special welcome. If you are coming back, awesome to have you back. I want to make sure that you are in our Facebook group over at firestarters.sensense.com. So if you're not in the group, join. If it's been a while, definitely check in. Let us know what your holiday sales goals are, what you've been up to, and what you plan to work on as you work on rocking out the remainder of this year going into the new year. So our agenda, when it comes to holiday marketing and sales, I want to share some sales ideas with you. I even have a holiday sales flyer, too. We're going to talk about last-minute offers, smart marketing, and as we go through this process today, always, always, always creating a space for Q&A. So, again, make sure that if you lost my audio for a second there. Uh, If you are in a space where you have questions for me, you make note of them and you share them with me um, inside of, again, this space as you guys are coming on in today. And of course, I always like to share a challenge for you to somehow, some way, work on your goals. So awesome to have you guys here. We are going to jump into the session, sales, ideas, offers, marketing, Q&A, all the things. Number one, smart holiday marketing, okay? So what are some things that you can do to reach people online? And for me, when it comes to reach, now obviously you want to reach as many people as you can, right? M-O-R-E, you want to reach more people. But for me, the priority isn't simply focusing on reaching more people, but reaching real people who actually want to invest in the things that you have for them, okay? So here's a short list. One of the things that I have been talking about doing myself, and then, of course, I lead by example, encouraging you to do as well, is to reach people with reels, right? So real reach with reels. Reels are micro videos that you can post on Instagram. Uh, Facebook owns Instagram, so not only can you post these short videos, uh, normally anywhere between seven seconds to averaging a minute long, but of course, if you do want to, you can extend them. One second. Okay, Um, and so one of the appeal of these short micro videos is that because a lot of platforms are trying to compete with TikTok, they're giving them a lot more visibility, right, especially during the holiday season. If you want to reach more people and have more eyeballs on your content, you may want to consider creating more micro videos. I recently posted uh, my TikTok and Reels five-day challenge. Um, so using something like that, you can get into a space where you are. It's, no necess- it's not necessarily a guarantee, right, that when you reach more people, that's going to translate into more sales immediately. But what it can do is it can open you up to people who go, oh, I didn't know this person existed. People who, again, are real people who will attach themselves to you. So being in a space where you can get more eyeballs and in that space actually be able to attract the right people, as I like to say, not everybody, but the right bodies, considering are you proactively using things like micro videos uh, as far as reels, TikTok, YouTube shorts. If you're not, you should be number one. Number two, one thing that I've been doing proactively recently is short live stream challenges. So I've done three micro challenges in the last three weeks. One was seven days and two were five-day long experiences. So picking a particular topic, 
Uh, I did seven days of getting back on track, seven days where I talked about how to work on your money magic, and I'm sorry, five days on money magic, seven days on getting back on track, and five days on the five-day book-a-day challenge. So I would pick a particular theme. I would teach and talk about and speak on that theme. And one of the things that I like to do is encourage you, even in a small space, to work on your repetition, work on your marketing, because in that space you will either reconnect with the right people or be introduced to new people as your people share out your content and in that space have an opportunity to proactively talk about and market your offers. So outside of doing reels, I've also been proactively doing short live stream challenges for myself, picking a micro topic and really digging into that topic over the course of five or seven day periods. Podcast platform marketing. This is awesome because if you go listen, uh, I don't know about videos, I don't know about lives, uh, then go with audio. Go with audio. Start proactively creating podcasts. I would challenge you to look at some of the content that you have and think about how you can create audio content on your platform. Now, here's the thing. When I talk about reels or lives or what have you, it's about the people not just who listen to or watch me in that moment when I create something new and share it in that moment. It's about the residual effect. It's about the digital footprint, meaning that over time, the more you create over time, the bigger your digital footprint becomes. And there are people who they're watching the challenges that I did weeks ago now. They're signing up, they're subscribing, they're absorbing now. So you don't know how many people you can reach in a week from now, in a month from now, with the content that you create now, right? So for me, smart holiday marketing is strategically picking a particular project that you can dig into in short form, right? Especially if you find that you don't know if you have enough content or enough time to really do this indefinitely forever, ever. Give yourself smart, small time frames that you can strategically work within, okay? So can you work on, again, anywhere between five to seven days, every day going live, every day proactively podcasting, every day reaching people through micro video content, one, two, or three, or number four, launching with leads. So launch with leads is a free challenge that I put together, uh, and it's over at success.com forward slash LWL launch with leads. Number one, but number two, when I talk about launching with leads, I talk about encouraging you to create an amazing free offer that you can proactively promote online. And I don't mean like just, the, oh, you made a freebie and you want to give it away, okay? I, I mean scroll-stopping, mouth-watering, I need to have it, I got to have it, free resource. And to be honest with you, a lot of people will take one of their best paid offers and make it free because it's an opportunity to really show people you've got something valuable you want to give them. So I want you to think about if you're trying to, if, you, if I say, listen, would you like more subscribers? And you say yes. Do you want to build your email list? You say yes. Are you in a space where you are really proactively giving away an amazing, irresistible offer. You can do that during the holiday season, right? Give people something really great, really that they go, oh, my gosh, not only do they want it, but they have to share it with everyone because this is too good to be true. This is too good not to, to give it away, uh, away not to, to just keep to myself, okay? Now, as I give you this smart holiday marketing short list, I don't intend or I don't expect you to do everything on this list. A part of the holiday season is that outside of you trying to market and sell and grow your business as a boss, you're also trying to do things with your family and for yourself. And, of course, we all know that when it comes to family and friends and holidays, there are a lot that can go on to make it just hyper stressful on top of the fact that you're just dealing with your life, 
your business, all the things, right? So I don't expect you to unrealistically do everything that I'm sharing with you here, but if you do want to proactively sell and make the most of this holiday season, I encourage you to pick at least one of these that you can dig into. So, for example, when you look at this micro list, I really have been enjoying these short micro live stream challenges, being in a space where I either for five or seven days, I go live, I talk about a particular topic, I send people to a freebie, and then at the the same time, that free offer is connected to a paid offer. So the last one that I did was last week, the five-day a book a day challenge. If you were to go over to, write this down, A-B-A-D, A-B for a book, A-D for a day. Okay, if you went to sensesense.com forward slash ABAD, you'd see it's a space where you can sign up for free. Once you sign up, you can watch all the videos that I did over the course of the week live, number one. And then number two, there are resources on that page for you. So it starts off with identifying what you want to sell, then turning that into a series of live trainings over the course of five to seven days, giving people access to the replays, and there are also templates and principles on that page to download. So I wanted to create a free space with lots of value, the replays, principles, a free template, et cetera, but also an upsell offer too, okay? So whether it be starting to create some short form reels, doing a five or seven day challenge, taking five to seven days to add content to your podcast or to promote a free lead magnet that you've created, You've got to work on a marketing strategy, at least one that you can invest time into every day, at least 30 to 90 minutes a day for at least five to seven days. This is a micro smart marketing challenge, okay? Trying to do at least one of these proactively for five to seven days as you work on your holiday sales in increments, okay? So, you know, I'm not trying to tell you to do something for a 1,000 days and find yourself exhausted. I want you to be able to pick a particular short-form activity that you can do, that you can test, that you can then reboot yourself, right? I'm an introvert, so we get drained. i got to reboot myself and then come back at it again. Okay, Um, and then the last one here is friends with followers, friends with followers. I wouldn't say everybody here, but a good amount of us as entrepreneurs and business owners, we have friends with followers. We have friends we know who just like us are working on their businesses, and there is some way that we either complement each other or we can work together, right? So I want you to think about, are you in a space where maybe there are people who they have a podcast, you have a podcast. You can interview them, they can interview you. They have an email list, you have an email list. You can promote them, they can promote you. They got a TikTok, you have a Facebook page. Cross promotion, right? People who you say, listen, quite a few of my clients in the last few weeks have been hosting their First, not even just a virtual event, but their first virtual event. I'm super, super proud. Super, like, proud mama, for real. Uh, One of the last ones was this past Friday. Uh, Tiffany hosted her first relationship summit. Amazing. Amazing. Okay? Um, Being in a space where during this time of year that a lot of people create events, think about that. Now, you could create a holiday sales of not the holiday sales. You can create a holiday virtual event of any topic of your to- choice. Um, Tiffany is in a space where she does a lot of relationship counseling and coaching, um, and so she talked about different things when it comes to creating successful relationships and had herself and other professionals come on, and she hosted a one-day summit, okay? Um, it doesn't matter what your area of expertise in is in. You can find two or three other people that you know, right? And then you can invite them to be a part of something. Keep it simple, right? Um, In her case, like I always say to you guys, right now I'm using startmeeting.com. The free version of that is freeconferencecall.com. It is free 99. And so she hosted her audio summit on freeconferencecall.com. 
you, if you use something else, if you want to do Zoom, the choice is yours. But if you want to be in a space where you're working on marketing and reaching more people, look at your friends. Leverage your circle. You've got a following. They've got a following. Come together and make it work for you, okay? So, again, a virtual event is definitely something that you can do. Um, Tiffany, one of my clients, we are working together, so we have one-on-one -on -one uh, uh, sessions as part of my insider circle. Um, and so in the last session, she said, okay, LaShonda, my, my event is coming up. Review the flyer. Let me know what you think. I said, I do like it. I feel like you have good bones here, but I can help you update the flyer and set up some of these parts that you're struggling with because I know you're on a time crunch. And she said, okay, LaShonda, take it over. Make it happen, and I did. So I helped her put together her sign-up page, her upsell offer, her virtual flyer with her, her speakers, all the things, made it happen, right? Um, and she was able to knock it out, launch, host the event, and now she's got her first virtual event under her belt, right? What can you do? If you can, within the next couple of weeks or month or two, work on creating a virtual event or work on getting a few cross-promotional interviews or social media campaigns with your people that you know, great. But it doesn't necessarily have to be an end-of-year thing. It could be a New Year thing. It could be that right now you are planning for holiday sales, promotions, collaborations that you do going into the New Year, right? That is something you can do too. Again, I am – a, a jump on it, make it happen kind of a girl. There's a lot that I always share on a week-by-week -week basis with you, but I'm not necessarily telling you that either you have to do all of these, number one, or you have to do the, like, if you want to do a virtual event, you got to do it immediately, right? If you want to plan it out for next month or at the start of the year, that's something you can consider doing too, okay? So, before I move into the next part of this conversation, I want to ask you, when you look at this list of smart holiday marketing strategies, is there anything that you can realistically do when it comes to either creating a marketing campaign you can work on for five to seven days within the next couple of weeks, or something that you can map out to either end the year or begin the new year? So. Number one, something that you can work on to knock out within the next couple of days, either end the new year or begin the new year. Can you reach with reels? Can you start to work on your first or your next set of micro video content? Can you reach through live stream? Can you put together a five or seven day, I'm going to go live every day experience? And I did that in different ways. I did three so far in the last couple of weeks. One was seven days, two were five days, and the last one, not only was it five days long, I did it twice a day. So I came on at seven, and I came on at noon every day. And, of course, some days my timing was a little bit off, but I'm, I'm human, and I said, listen, I'm still here. We're going to keep it popping. We're going to keep it pushing. We're going to keep it moving. So um, what kind of experience can you put together? Can you podcast every day, upload a new podcast for five to seven days, right? Can you create, or maybe you already have a, an amazing freebie. Can you give yourself five to seven days to market the hell out of that lead magnet, right? Can you give yourself either now or schedule in at the end of the year or going into the new year an experience where you're either collaborating or you're creating some sort of virtual experience with people you know and you have overlapping customer bases, right, that you can mutually le leverage. Anything here, those of you who are participating live, can you consider doing? If you can, let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Ooh, yeah, I think I want to do some reels. Or, oh, my gosh, I actually saw you on live, and I think I can do that too. I can do five days of live stream. When it comes to your holiday marketing and sales goals for right now, for the next couple of weeks, the end of the year, going into the new year, is there anything here that you can do, number one? Um, feel free to drop that into the chat box now as we're talking. Um, and, of course, as we go through this process, if you're listening but you're not watching live, you can always check in with me. You can email susansensei.gmail.com. 
You can send me a voice message when you're on solicitness.com. Click the great tab on the right side of the site to send me a voice message. Or you can post in our Facebook group over at firestarters.susansense.com. So before moving forward, I just kind of reflect, I want to reflect on this one first and see what you guys are saying to me. I see the comments are coming in. Hey, welcome, Andrea. I'm going to try some reels. Okay, good. Try some reels. I do have the TikTok and reels challenge. I don't know if you have it, but if you want to grab it, um, let me know. I, I have to, to look for the link. Let me pause for a second as you guys are typing into the chat. Keep doing that. TikTok Reels Challenge. Keep tap, tap, tapping in the chat. I am, let me see, I'm going to, as you guys are typing, I really, I'm really good at remembering. I'm going to pause real quick. Okay. So I have the TikTok Reels Challenge, five days, real things that you can do to work on your goals there, right? Right now, it's got a reduced rate attached to it over at TTRC for TikTok Reels Challenge, okay, com forward slash T-T-R-C. So continue to let me know before we move into the next thing that we're going to talk about tonight when it comes to holiday marketing and sales, what are some things that you see on this list in particular that you want to do, number one, and again, number two, the TikTok Reels Challenge is at com forward slash T-T-R-C if you don't already have it, Okay. Um, hey, Afi, welcome, welcome. It's going to have to be the reels for me. I see it, I see it. Uh, hey, Elizabeth, Yandel, Faye is in the building. Awesome to see you guys coming on in. Uh, live stream converts for me, so I need to get on it. Yes to reels, and I would love to cross-promote. Okay, so you've got a couple of things on your list, right? You said live stream works for me, right? Um, reels, and I would love to cross-promote. So, I always say to you guys, www. I know for other people it means World Wide Web. For me, www means work what works. So the first thing that works for you is live. So what are you going to do to go live? Is it going to be five days? Is it going to be seven days? Get intentional, number one. Number two, if you can put it behind a sign-up form, even better, because you do want to not only promote an upsell offer, but to add some new people to your email list. As people are watching you, they get excited, they tag people, they share it too. You want to make sure that if you're going to create a free challenge experience, people can sign up to it, right? Um, and then think about, can you do the other ones, but realistically, right? I'd rather see you do one thing well for five to seven days than say, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this, and then it be difficult. Write this down. Phase in your greatness. So if you say phase one, yes, LaShonda, I know already that lives work. I'm phase one, I'm going to do a live for five or seven days. Pick it. What are you going to talk about? How are you going to rock it out? Number one. Then you say, okay, number two, I do want to do some cross promotion. So let me start to make a list. And then phase two, I'm going to work with some people on that. And then phase three, I'm going to go into. Now, if you want to jump into Reels, fine. I don't mind you doing multiple things if you feel like you have the skill set or the time to do it. But I never want you to overwhelm and overextend. So I'd rather you just do one thing for a couple of days intentionally than try to overextend. And then you're like, oh, my God, it's just too much for me, right? So as I mentioned before, when it comes to creating a challenge, I'm going to show you my challenge real quick, just, just to give you A, B, A, D. Just to, those of you who go, I like the idea of doing a live stream series, but then also doing it as a challenge. The first thing that I did was come up with my offer, right? So what am I going to promote? Well, I had a whole thing that I taught on how to create books, how to create books, digital and print-on-demand books, how to create planners using my templates. So I already knew what I was going to talk about, and I knew what the main sell offer was. Before I actually went live, I made this page, right? So you can go here, and you can put in your name, 
Let me put in my name, and you can put in your email address. So some people, they don't need to do this. They're honestly on my list. But there were a few, quite a few people who came onto my list because they came through this page. So when I went live, I was able to say, hey, you're watching me live, but if you want to get all the replays, if you want to get a free template, if you want to get downloads, go here, put in your name. My main thing is not the email list. My main thing is the upsell offer. But adding them on my email list is an added bonus, right? So they come here, they go on the page, bim, bam, boom, and then they get a couple of things. It says, listen, I go live. So it tells them when I'm going live. Number one. Number two, it also says all the videos are in this little player. Click the little link on the icon. It says right here. I know sometimes people don't read, which is why I also have audio, just keeping it real. I have audio plus video plus the text at the top. Some people read it. Some people watch the video. Some people have the audio. Different people, different touch points, which is why I have them. If you click the little icon, you can see all the videos. So, yes, people could search for the individual videos, but not everybody knows how to do that or even wants to do that. There's a lot going on. So me just putting all the videos in one spot makes it convenient, right? At the bottom of the video is stuff to click. There's a free template. There's a free marketing guide. There's another guide. There's several resources. If they want to talk to me, they can book a call, or they could just send me a voice message for free. Lots of ways to engage, lots of touch points. They can purchase a product. There's the Wealth Builders Boot Camp. There's the Five Book Bundle. So there are products to, set to purchase. There's ways to interact with me via voice message, via scheduling, and there are freebies. They got a free template. They got a free marketing guide. They get free money-making activities. So what would you talk about in your challenge? How long would it be? What would you include on your page? These are a few things for you to consider, okay? For those of you who go, ooh, I like that way, right? Quite a few are, hey, Elizabeth, quite a few of you are wanting to work on your TikToks, your Reels, your micro videos. I try to keep it as practical as I could for you. So if you don't have that five-day challenge, you can definitely dig into that one, right? Um, Andrea says podcasting is tempting, right? So think about that. You know, your time, your, you, you know, what, you're, what you can do. Do you want to get in front of the camera? If you don't, do audio, right? You could sit and either upload all your videos at once and then have them just predate them so they come out on a certain day, schedule them, or every day challenge yourself to record one video, one audio a day, right? Um, it really is up to you and your bandwidth, right? So let's see here. LaShonda, after doing the Reels, Instagram sent me a creator tools message, but I'm not sure what it means to have a creator's account. Gotcha. Um, I used to have an Instagram business account, and I just have my Instagram as a personal account so that I can easily access all the audios because you do have limitations with business versus personal. Um, I've not even dabbled in the creator's account, to be honest with you, to be able to give you a detailed bit of insight into it. I just prefer to keep mine personal just so that I can have access to all the audios and the video editing features without there being limitations on what videos I can attach to. I'm sorry, what music um, and what features I can attach to my video content. So, um, Send me a message, Faye, so that we can check into that a little bit after this, like you and me. We could take a look at creators and see what's there. But honestly, I just keep it personal with simple with personal. Creators gives you access to audios. It's better than business, in my opinion. Gotcha. Yeah, I was not a fan of business, which is why I took it off just to do personal. Um, so Yandel is saying that creators gives you business plus more. Um, and I'm sure there are probably pros to it. Um, for now, I'm just good with personal. But great questions. Again, feel free to let me know um, if you have any other questions and or once you, since at the point of looking at this particular list, you've come up with some activities that you say, yes, I want to do that. Okay. So. Smart holiday marketing, number one, 
let's dig into number two and then number three just to kind of give you a sense of what's coming next. First, we're going to go into last minute offers and then we're going to go into the template guide that I want to share with you, okay? Uh, so we do have quite a few different things to talk about today. Um, so far, we talked about the smart holiday marketing. Let's talk about last minute offers. Now, Hopefully at this point you've identified something that you want to promote during the upcoming holiday sales season, right? At least one thing. But what if you haven't? Let's talk about a few possibles. Number one, end of year bundles. I absolutely love them. As you can tell, if you know me, if you follow me for any length of time, you know that I'm always dropping a new or a seasonal bundle on you, right? Um, can you come up with a bundle for your audience? As far as I'm concerned, having at least three things, maybe make it a bundle, right? What's something you can offer, number one, whether it be an end-of-year bundle or a new year program? It may not be ready now, but you know it's going to be ready at some point in the new year, right? So you can literally, within a few hours or a few days, create a new year package and say, hey, coming in the da-da-da-da future, this is what's going to be available. I call these RTE experiences. And the new year, I'm going to be able to give you this, 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 this for this amount of time. This is how much it's going to cost. Do you want it, right? End of year bundle where you pool all of what you have, the best of what you have, sell that in one package. Or new year where you say this is everything that's coming or this is the first quarter of what's coming, pull that, another package. There you go, right? Last minute offers. So uh, let me just see here. So true. On your point on not to do too much, Reels is my regular to do. The cross promotion feels needed because my audience is small. I feel like I'll be going live to myself. <laughs> I know. Um, being at somebody who works in a space where it's relatively small, I get it when you go live and you don't feel like there are a lot of people on it. But I always like to remember that there are there are a couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, I always say it's not just about more people, but the real people, right? So the right people are watching you and following you. And those are the people you want to commit yourself to and give value to. Beyond even attracting new people, you want to dig into giving more value to the people who follow you. Those are your tried and true fans. Those are the people who come back and pay for the stuff that you have. So that's the most important thing. Showing up for your people, number one. Number two, your people will tag people and share your content. So outside of that, even if it's just a handful of people, outside of reaching and digging into offering value to your people who will repeat buy from you, because a lot of what I do as far as being sustainable comes from repeat buy from my loyal customers, repeat buyers, number one, and referrals from my loyal customers because they're going to share and tag other people, number two. Number three, outside of the people who watch you live, you got the people who watch you on the what? Hashtag replay side. And literally, I'll be sitting down or I'll be in my car, I'll be driving, and I'll see a comment comes up, YouTube, whatever, hashtag replays, hashtag replays. When you do that, you're creating evergreen content, and not just for a couple of days. It's going to live there. So even after you've done your seven days or your five days, that content will live there and help people find you. It's invaluable, even when it's a small group. And, of course, as a spiritual person, perhaps you believe in what I believe, where two or three are gathered in his name. Amen? So at the end of the day, it's going to give value to the people who are immediately there or give value to the right people when they find you, right? When the student is ready, the teacher appears, they find you, they start to bend you, and bam. I, I don't know if you guys are aware of Paul Brunson, okay? If you don't follow him so much, you can look him up. I watched a video, a TikTok, about a week or two ago, right? And he talked about when he started, he was making YouTube videos and was getting, like, no views. And he's like, listen, when I would say no views, I was getting, like, five and ten views, like, no views, okay? <laughs> very, very small. And he said, um, you never know who is watching, number one. You never know who your customers know, number two. He said, I was working with somebody, had no idea that you know who they worked for, Oprah. 
They were on a private jet with Oprah one day, and she said to them, you know what, I got an idea for a relationship show. Uh, you know, what do you think about this idea? And the person said to her, you know what, I know this guy that I work with, he would be perfect for it. Oprah went, been to watch his videos with the 10 views here and the 5 views there, said to him, I want you to be the host of the show. The rest is history. You don't know. You do not know. One of the things that I talk about with forever President Obama is I have books with him. And I remember there's a page of the book with his feet up. And he's got holes in his shoes. And I remember the story of him talking about being on the campaign trail. I don't know if y'all know, but nobody was really checking for Obama when he was on the campaign trail until I think he was endorsed by Oprah and a couple of other people. At the very beginning, it was like, who's this guy? (laughs) Who's this guy? And he talked about how for a lot of it, He would be going to little small towns and speaking and drinking bad coffee, and and there was nobody in the room. And, you know, you think about this man and his um, Martin Luther um, King-like speakings, you know, when he goes up there and just his voice and the things he says just reverberates the room. He was doing that in rooms where there was nobody in the rooms except the bodies in the rooms that was there, the two or three that were gathered in his name. I am sorry if I get on my soapbox and I get emotional about these things, but I'm telling you, I am telling you from the bottom of my soul that even if it's just a few people, it's the right people. We are not here for everybody. We are here for the right bodies. And if you believe that you are here to serve a higher power, the enemy is always going to make it hard for the right people to find you. It's going to be a little bit harder for you to get to your people than the people doing the wrong things. Because the people doing the wrong things always get the most views, always get the most support, always get the biggest push. The people who the enemy wants to hold back or the people who need the most love, patience, and support moving forward because you would talk yourself out of your dreams. I'm just telling you that. I'm going to get off my soapbox because you know me. (laughs) OMG, I needed to hear this today. Thank you. You are so very welcome. So powerful. And sometimes we see it in the numbers instead of who is for you. You see it in the numbers. You absolutely. You see it in the numbers. You get discouraged. You get one of my clients. She's in the UK. She said she shut down her YouTube channel. Took all to get she's on the I just shut it down. I didn't have a lot of followers. I didn't have a lot of views. I just shut it down. And I said, I get it, but don't let it discourage you. This man said when Oprah saw his channel, he had videos. He was doing videos every week. And nobody was really watching his stuff. And Oprah watched his videos. It's not simply that you don't have enough reach. Sometimes you are giving your heart and your soul and your content. You just, you, it, it hasn't yet to hit the right people or enough people or the person that's going to put you on to more people. You just, you just don't know. You don't know. But okay, getting off my soapbox. Holiday last minute offers, end of year or new year, right? So every year I do my finish strong, start stronger, and I give you certain end of year offers and bundles, right? Um, I want to say for the last, at least for the last three years, I've been doing an 1111 bundle in some way, shape, or form, 1111 new beginnings, right? Um, I always start. I always start the year with my Fire Start Your Year Jumpstart program. So either you can come out and work with me in North Carolina for three days, or if you cannot come out and work with me in for three days in North Carolina, fine. Do just the virtual, but either one. This year, I've actually decided to not pair, but triple. <laughs> so triple, triple, I don't know. I've combined the Fire Start Your Year experience private coaching, and my Jumpstart program into a big experience where you can do just the NC, you can do the NC and the virtual. You can also get one-on-one with me, and you get one year of the good stuff. The monthly mastermind, you get um, 30-minute calls, 60-minute calls, a VIP day. So it's a combination of coaching, the one-year program, and the Fire Start Your Year 
Every year I work on M-O-R-E. When I say more, I mean master originality, reach, and engagement. More, that is my acronym, M-O-R-E, master originality, reach, and engagement. I'm mastering my craft. Every year that I do Fire Start Your Year, Jump Start, every year I make it bigger, I make it better for my community and for me. What can you do as an end-of-year offer or a new year offer that is building on what you have already built? And it can be, again, an RTE. It doesn't all have to be done today, okay? When I sell you Fire Start Your Year, I haven't done it yet. The new year hasn't started. <laughs> Nothing in the program is available to yet you yet because you're going to get it as a real-time experience once the year begins, right? The only thing that I can say is that I do have instant access to while you wait goodies, great. So if you can attach on things you already have and give it to them as a bonus, but the majority of it that they're investing in is stuff that they're going to get access to going into the new year, right, if that makes sense, hopefully. So can you do either an end-of-year bundle, a new year program, or maybe a combination of the two? POD books and planners. You know I love to create my print-on-demand books and planners. These are things that I create and I teach you how to create in literally a few hours or a few days. I did a live about two weeks ago, and in less than an hour, I made a 28-page planner. You can literally this weekend create anywhere between 30 pages to 100 pages, a new book, a new planner, and have it available for sale. When I launched... This year's 1111 bundle, that, that day, 1111, I talked about the 1111 New Beginnings bundle. I also launched the 1111 notebooks, which you can find at Shop. It takes me less than an hour to create notebooks, just using my templates and graphics. You can create new planners for the holidays. You can create new short books. 30 pages, 50 pages, either give them away as lead magnets or sell them as low price point offers. You can create printable planners. You can create printable donors. You can create printable notebooks. You're not without options. You're not. You're not. So it's just a matter of you thinking about either can you make a new year bundle, an end of year bundle, or you can create some new digital books or print on demand books depending upon what you like. And like I said, if you want a free template and you want to know what kind of books you can create, go to, to watch the five-day challenge I did last week. It was free, a buck a day. Susansense.com forward slash A-B-A-D. There are 10 videos in there. Watch them. Grab the template. And if you want to get the Create a Book Template Bundle, it's in there already. It's in there. Just click the link and you can learn how to get the Create a Book Bundle if you don't already have it. But there's no reason why within a few days, you can't create either your first or your next digital or physical products. As far as I'm concerned, you can create physical products this week and have them printed and shipped at your door next week. There's no reason why you ain't ready. Even if you still didn't get your stuff together at this point, you still have time. Okay? Thank you for this motivation. You're so very welcome. Um, I have planners and notebooks I want to sell, but I need to know how to set up a store. Don't you have a webinar on that? Um, I have lots of webinars on different stores that you can set up. Um, it really just depends on where you're trying to sell. Long story short, my digital products, I like to either sell on ConvertKit or SamCart. My physical products, as far as my books are concerned, Right now, I sell them on Shopify using Lulu Direct app. So I like Lulu Direct. Um, Lulu is a self-publishing print-on-demand platform. And so using the Lulu app inside of Shopify, my sisterscents.shop store, I'm able to sell my print-on-demand products, but it's not the only one. Um, I've done quite a few trainings. The last one where I did on planners, I walk you through all of my um, tools. So if you have the Print Your Profits training that I did like two weeks ago on planners, I go, I talk about Lulu, I talk about Shopify, and I talk about the different products that I use. If you just want to create sales pages to sell digital products, 
excuse me, SAM card and convert kit are my favorite. But for print on demand, there are other resources that I use. Yeah, they have an app that you can combine. You can sell on Lulu just in and of itself. But I like being able to customize Shopify and make it pretty, um, which is why I use Lulu inside of Shopify. So five-day book-a-day challenge, this is this.com forward slash A-B-A-D, okay? This is this.com forward slash A-B-A-D. Um, definitely a resource that is available to you. Holiday favorite things guide, right? I literally, I'm a part of Oprah's Daily. I pay for that. Um, she's got like a Oprah annual subscription program. And so I got my favorite things magazine issue, I think either last week or the week before that. Create a guide where you're sharing your favorite things and you give people links and you're connecting those as an affiliate so you can make money, right? Find a way to tap into holiday sales, whether it's creating your own last-minute offers or promoting those of others. Um, you can create a holiday gift guide or a product catalog. You can do your own holiday activities and give people opportunities to participate in them. Yes, you can do offline, but of course, I'm a virtual girl, so I'm going to talk to you like I did a few minutes ago about possibly putting together virtual experiences where you either host it by yourself or you have co-hosts um, or guest speakers, holiday activities, gift guides, what can you do, right, when it comes to um, creating experiences during the holiday season for you and your client base, right? Um, one of my clients, Marceline, she is a social worker. Uh, she helps career professionals also um, with stress management. And one of her seasonal offers is How to Get Through the Holidays Without Losing It. Love that title. She brings it back every year. It's one of her seasonal offers, How to Get Through the Holidays Without Losing It. And I'm sure a lot of us need that, right? <laughs> Friends and family can send you to want to go insane, drive you to drink. So um, what are some things that you can do not just this year but every year as a seasonal offer? when it comes to either sharing your recommendations as an affiliate, creating activities, creating events, creating favorite things guides, these are all things that you can do, okay? So let's dig into, before moving forward, and before we go into the templates, before moving forward, anything here that either you've done before that you want to do it again, or you go, oh, I didn't think of that, I think I might try that when it comes to last minute offers, Feel free to drop that into the chat box so that I can see any of these PODs, um, favorite thing, gift guide. Maybe you've got some products you want to showcase. Anything here that resonates with you. A holiday guide. Good, 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 good. Um, anything here that you feel like I've either done it before or, you know what, I think I'm going to try that. New Year Bundle, favorite things guide. Okay, good. I want to try to see if you can find at least – one to three of these that you can prioritize, right? As I mentioned before, you don't have to do all of them at one time, but phase in your greatness. So phase one, which one of these would you want to do now? Phase two, phase three. I would love to create a job guide. And, uh, oh, oops, I saw like a bunch of things come in at once. <laughs> I would love to create a job search planner. Okay, good. So you want to start to think about what, would that planner look like independent of the content or the design? What are some things that you would like to put in your job search planner, right? What are some really important things? Because remember, when, I, when we create planners, for me, planners are premium books, right? They can range in price point. You can sell a planner for five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, but when you really put your foot in it, you can sell your planner for $100. You can make a premium book because they can't look. They can't go to Walmart or Staples and just look for a job search planner and find you. They got to come to you, right? So what are some things that you're going to make in or integrate into your planner to make it unique, to make it unique? Um, and once you, you know, you, you and me, we have one-on-one -on -one sessions, so we can talk about it, dig into it, and really customize something that could work for you. And I do have two style planners, the one that I taught, and I got a template for the planner from last year, right? 
I created it and I taught it. That's the one that I shared last year. Then I have a new template that I created this year. Two different style planner templates, but there are two options available to you. Print your profits last year versus print your profits this year. Um, and we can, Faye, we can talk about what you need and how you can make that happen. Okay? Yes, 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 yes. Let's see here. Next year, I want to do a planner journal with my original artwork. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind, maybe you want to definitely take a look at the, the last one that I did, right, because we did two types of planners. We did big planners that you can, and both of them are relatively quick to create. We did one style that you can create as 104 or 108 pages, and the other style, 28 to 32 pages, right? So you may want to consider doing the small version to kind of give you a sense a visual sense of what it would look like and or the bigger version, right? Um, if you have the Wealth Builders Boot Camp, which is the program that I recently launched, um, if you're in that, then you should have all the new stuff. You should have the Print Your Profits template that we did two weeks ago. You should have the Create Five Books Mastermind that we did. Last week, we did seven ways to do a seven-day challenge. So there's a lot of stuff. If you have the Wealth Builders Bundle, great. All of that stuff is in there. If you don't, check in with me. Uh, I'll let you know to where to go to get what you need. Hey, Monique is in the building. Holiday gift guide that I will do again. Finally going to create my business event planner for 2023 with a course. Good. So this is important because what you want to do is you want to get into a space where you're starting to create your calendar what you want to launch now versus what you want to launch coming up, right? You're getting intentional about these offers, what you can realistically do in the next few weeks or the next few months, ending this year strong, starting the next year even stronger, right? That's finish strong, start stronger. That's one of my favorite talk, topics to talk about each year. Now, before we get to holiday sales ideas, and if you still want to share with me, keep dropping your comments into the chat. Before we get into this list of holiday sales ideas, let's go into the holiday sales flyer that I've created for you, okay? So let's get the link. Okay. So you ready to write it down? Yes? Very simple, but very useful. Sistersense.com forward slash HSTD. HSTD for Holiday Sales Template Download. HSTD. Very simple, but you can make an impact with simple, right? This is your KISS, your K-I-S-S, -S, Keep It Seriously Simple Challenge. So number one, write it down, HSTD. You want to go over to usesense.com forward slash HSTD to download this template, number one. Number two, tell me you got it. Just drop got it into the chat box so that I can see Number three, let's go over to this bad boy and make it happen. Got it? Good. Let me see some more G's, O's, I's, more got it, got it, got it into the chat. Got it? Good. Good. Let's take a look at it. So I'm going to show you mine. doesn't take very long to make this bad boy happen, okay? Um, <clears throat> show you mine, and then, of course, when you customize, Make sure that you share with me yours, right? There's that little share box at the top right corner, or if you're on your app where you don't see it, look for three dots so you can find it. Put my email in there, so it says at gmail.com, so when you customize it, you share it with me, okay? So first let me show you mine. I'll show you how easy it is to customize it. But as I go through mine, I want you to start to brainstorm what you could potentially put in yours, okay? Um, I create different types of catalogs and flyers, um, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm releasing a new set of product catalog catalogs, but this is a very simple one that you can use. And while I didn't put any price points, I didn't attach any price points to my offers that I featured in this document, number one, you could. You could add price points, whether you choose to add it in text or maybe make a little circle with the price points. That's number one. Number two, 
this guide has four spots. So you can just make a one-page PDF here, or you can make a multi-page PDF. You can do three pages, give them 12 products, right? I try to just keep it simple with one page, but you can make this into a full PDF catalog uh, if you would like. Number three, quite a few of you already have my templates, and a lot of my templates come with really cool covers. You can either make a cover or use one of my previous covers and really build this thing out. But again, I kept it simple with a clean one-page PDF, right? It says holiday sales. It has these cute little lights at the top. You can customize these to match your, your colors just like I customized mine, right? The link is sizzlesense.com forward slash H-T. I'm sorry, H-A. Okay, I'm saying it all kind of wrong. I'm screwing you up, right? H-S. There we go. H-S for holiday sales. T-D for template download. If somebody could drop that into the chat, that would be get great. H-S-T-D for holiday sales template download, okay? I'm assuming you all have a Canva account. If you don't have one, get one. H-S-T-D, holiday sales template download. So this is sense.com forward slash H-S-T-D, okay? So um, I'm going to customize another version of this while we're together real time. But while I do that, my goal is, that you are getting creative and you're thinking about how you can make this work for yourself, right? Um, just simple holiday sales. If I wanted to, I could have put my logo. I didn't. Here are some super early holiday sales. Um, grab what you need and email Sense if you have any questions, right? Really simple. I have four offers. One is annual planning. So it says click here to crush your annual goals. This is an annual planning workshop that I did so you can map out your new year. Feel free, by the way, to take advantage of any of these. But at the same time, think about can you create something similar or does this idea spark an idea for you? First and foremost, this is a one-day workshop. Is that something you could do? Can you host a one-day webinar workshop for your existing audience, number one? Number two, the one-day workshop already ended. So now, first I was selling the workshop live. Now I'm just promoting the replays, right? So do you have a concept that you can do as a one-day workshop, number one? Do you have replays? to something you did in the past that you can repurpose and sell, number two. Number three, can you start to proactively put more webinars on your calendar as a new ongoing revenue stream for your audience? One of the ways that I make consistent money online is by what I call weekly webinars in one way, shape, or form. They're not always the same webinar. I do different things every week, but I'm consistently doing webinars for my audience. Even in a micro space, you can create consistent revenue by creating opportunities for your audience to work with you. So I go live. That's me publicly sharing with everyone. I go live on a webinar. That's me privately sharing with clients and customers, right? You've got your public followers versus your private clients and customers weekly webinars. Number one. Number two says, click here to buy a 90-minute VIP day with Sense and get a free 90-minute session plus 30-minute follow-up. So I have different types of calls, right? Think about that. Do you offer one-on-one -on -one with clients? If so, how do your calls vary? How does your coaching vary? Um, when you think about that, are you integrating opportunities for people to get more for less, right? One of my favorite things is BOGO deals. I have digging, been, as a consumer, I've been consuming a lot of BOGO deals. And as an entrepreneur, I've been putting out quite a few of them. I like to do BOGO VIP days. I did it last year and it worked. I'm doing it again this year, right? Think about that. When it comes to independent of what I'm teaching you, those of you who already are selling, 
what are some effective sales strategies that worked for you before and maybe you you forgot can you refresh your memory on that i don't have it here but i created the grow sales grow series where i'm teaching seven signature sales strategies that work grow sales grow over at susansense.com forward slash gsgb my grow sales grow bundle when you are trying to figure out how to overcome slow sales, low sales, or no sales, slow, low, or no, I walk you through different things that I do, seven strategies inside of the Grow Sales Grow Bundle over at sense.com forward slash GSGB, okay? So can you do a BOGO? If so, what would you put on BOGO, right? Are you offering different types of one-on-one -on -one sessions? My VIP days are 90 minutes. I also offer 30-minute calls and 60-minute sessions. So can you do BOGOs? Can you verify the kind of one-on-one -on -one private sessions you give your audience, right? When it comes to holiday sales, can you take one type of one-on-one -on -one that you do with people and create an offer around it? So for the holidays, I'm not doing an offer around everything, but this thing in particular 90-minute sessions, you buy one, you get one, so then you get two 90-minute sessions plus a 30-minute follow-up call, okay? So that's, those are a few things to consider when it comes to BOGO. Now, for each of these, as I go through the strategy, I just want your mind to be thinking about what you have, what you've tried before, what you can try now based on what you see here. And like I said, you should have this guide. You should have it. Um, if you don't have it, can I give it to you? Yes. Let me see if I can come up with a short link for it real quick. I don't know if you don't have it, but let me see if I can come up with a short link for you real quick. <laughs> So I upload my documents. This is also just a good opportunity for you to, if you don't know my process, just to see it real time. Um, my PDF documents, I like to upload to Google, Google Drive, number one. Um, <clears throat> And let's see here. Then I click the little dots on the side to get the share button. Usually when you share, the default is restricted. You want to change restricted to anyone with the link, and then you want to copy the link. Then on your short link tool of choice, create a short link. I don't like Bitly. I don't even promote Bitly. They don't have good quality um, ratings because a lot of hackers and spammers use Bitly. I, I just don't like using it. Um, I use Pretty Link Lite on WordPress. There also is another company called Rebrandly. Rebrandly. Okay. I don't know so much about Tiny URL. That's another one. And Google also has Google short links. Me, I use Pretty Link Lite. So I'm going to go over to my Pretty Link Lite plugin on WordPress. I'm going to put in the Google link. I'm going to call this H. Sister Sense Holiday Sales Guide Download. So SHS for Assistant Holiday Sales, GD Guide Download. Okay, so I'm just going to make that real quick. Now I'm going to go to sistersense.com forward slash sistersense holiday sales guide download. And it should work. If it don't work, I'll fix it. 
So if you don't already have this guide, again, you can go to sissasense.com forward slash SHS, Sissasense Holiday Sales, GD, Guide Download, SHS, GD, SHS, GD, okay? Hopefully that link is helpful. If you don't have it, you can grab it. I like the BOGO VIP day idea. Awesome. Thank you. So being in a space where you can think about things that you offer to your audience, BOGO deals, or um, a special interest webinar, one and two. Number three, for me, BBBs, big, beautiful bundles, please, right? So here I have my new beginnings bundle. It's got my new normal life design guide, move forward faster, manifestation journal, your profit and productivity playbook, lots of great things in the new beginnings bundle, right? Either do you want to bring back a bundle that is seasonal to you or do you want to create something new, right? What kind of bundle can you create and share with your audience, right? Uh, when I think about my clients, entrepreneurs in my circle, they're looking to work on their new normal. It's a life design guide that I created that mirrors things that I've done in my life, right? I am so ready to enter my new season. It is not even funny. I am beyond ready. And so being in a space where I intentionally document things that I do and then be able to monetize those things and teach them to other people it's something that you can do too, right? What kind of bundle can you create and share with your audience? In this case, it's a seasonal bundle, okay? So every year I have 1111 bundles. My 1111 bundle last year was a collect. It's actually inside of this, which is the 1111 Mastermind On Demand. So I basically took 11 mastermind sessions, 11 topics, and I made a bundle for that. So my 1111 bundle varies every year. New Beginnings is a new version, but I kind of think about what I'm going to do in that 1111 space and create something around that. That's just unique to me, um, but you can think about for yourself what kind of bundle you would want to put together that your audience could benefit from using stuff that you have that you can repurpose. So what can you repurpose to create a bundle offer for your audience? How do you create the creative titles for your products? They are awesome. Um, 1111 actually, I mean, it's an angel number. And one of my clients, Lynette, several years ago introduced me to the concept of angel numbers. And I've just been in that space for the last four years plus now. Um, but 1111 is about new beginnings. 555 is about breakthrough. So I do also have a 555 breakthrough bundle. And just for me, energetically, when I find those things coming in, they become a part of the process. Um, but then just, you know, everybody kind of has their thing and coming up with ideas and titles for these things is just kind of my thing. <laughs> it's just kind of my thing, right, um, as far as just being able to do that for myself and then, of course, support you all when it comes to branding and titling your content. And the last one that you see here is the list building kit. Uh, get the ultimate lead magnet template along with the 100 new subscribers challenge. So this is kind of for me a good comparison about bundles and how you can – I love that you talked about titles because it also speaks to the topic of titles because – both of these is, are basically collections. The New Beginnings Bundle is a set, and I call it a bundle, right? The Lead Magnet Toolkit is also a set, but I don't call it a bundle. I call it a toolkit, right? So collection, toolkit, starter kit, bundle, how do you want to title your stuff? These are just a few examples, right? <laughs> of different bundle versus kit, number one. Number two, seasonal versus new. So 1111, even though I may change what's in it, it's something that I've been doing for several years. Um, the List Builder Lead Magnet Toolkit is a new bundle that I released this year. So think about that. Is there a particular theme 
or topic, in my case, list building, that I've been working on, and then I have quite a few resources to offer, and so I included it in that bundle, versus not something new that you can put together, something that you already have, right? So an older bundle versus a new bundle, calling it a bundle versus calling it a toolkit, just a few things that I can share with you based on what I've done and what you could potentially do too. I will also say that when I released the Lead Magnet Toolkit, I said, hey, when you sign up, not only are you going to get your template and all the things inside of this toolkit, you also are going to get access to a live training. So the live training was a bonus, which is the 100 New Subscribers Challenge. That obviously is no longer live, so I've modified the page so that you get instant access to this training before it was instant access to a live upcoming training. So think about that as well. The annual planning is was first sold as a live training. Now it's sold as instant access to training, right? So one versus the other, I go back and I modify the language of the page. This list building kit was sold as you're going to get your kit plus an upcoming live training as a bonus. Obviously, that's no longer in live because I already recorded it. So changing the content as far as changing the copy is concerned. So either I sell live trainings as standalone offers or I sell live trainings within bundles, either as part of the bundle or a bonus to the bundle. But I love creating live experiences for my audience and offering them as an incentive. You want to sign up now because you also want to participate in the lives or you want to get instant access to the replays of live trainings that I previously did, right? So just to give you some context, I do update my copy on pages once something, as far as lives are concerned, has have been completed. Do you want to just do an offer like live experience and sell that in and of itself? Or do you want to attach repurposed lives onto previous things you've done um, that you would like to put together? Okay, so hopefully you have this guide and some of the recommendations I've shared with you make sense to you. I don't know when some of you are going to be watching this. If you're watching the replay and some of these links are no longer available, I always tell you opportunities expire. So I cannot tell you when you see it a month or two or five months from now that these links are still going to be active, but they are great examples, number one. And number two, of course, if you actually would like to take advantage of any of these opportunities and resources. If they're still available, feel free to grab them while you can because, again, opportunities expire. So if you want to get a VIP day with me, if you missed the annual planning training, if you missed getting access to the new beginner's bundle, it is something that I, I do seasonally and then I take it away, right? So while you can get it, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. So. As I mentioned before, this one-page template you have access to, right? Um, let's take a look. It's very simple. There are a few components. There's your main header, your lights at the top because it's seasonal, so I wanted to have lights at the top. And you've got four spots, right? And then it tells you a little bit about my template resources. This is an informational page. Read it utilize it, then you can delete it and focus on your template. I mentioned before that you could just make it like mine, a one-page PDF. You can add a cover or you can add more pages if you would like to, right? So just going over to mine, right, I can literally hit duplicate, which I'll do right now. <coughs> and let me show you. This little element here, I love Canva elements because there are just so many of them. Number one, and then number two, not only are there a ton of these elements, they're so easy to customize. So this one has colors, and you can just change them to whatever you want, which I think is amazing. Right? So you could just, you can have fun with this thing. Your brand colors, whatever they are, you can change those up. And then as far as these little spots here, 
let's go to let's go to one of my folders. book pages. I think this has covers. Yes, it does. Okay. So I could just take a couple of my offers, the 20-minute content plan, the new 1111 books, maybe do something like that. Maybe do that. I'm just being random right now. Maybe do that. I'm just being random and dropping things in here. Number one. Number two, you can click anything and click the link icon and customize the link, right? Um, I, I did this for three spots, here, here, and here. And then I also said click here or download or get. I tried to because because some people honestly are not very techy, they may not know that they can mouse over and click any of these things. They may just read it and look at it and go, This is interesting. So either adding a button or literally saying click here just to be as clear as I could possibly be for the least techy person that this is clickable, right? If I wanted to, I could add a little button that says click here. Anything that you mouse over, you can either see the link icon and attach a link, or you can look for the three dots and attach a link to it. And of course, use this little go to link icon to test your links just to make sure everything is spelt and working correctly. Because even myself, the first time around, I downloaded it, and guess what? These links, were the same. For these two, they were the same because accidentally, when I created this link, it was not, it didn't get copied. So I pasted the annual planning link to all of these. I'm a techie girl, but I'm human. Accidents happen. So just test your links. When you finish uploading your PDF, test it, scroll through the links, mouse over everything. How many of you test your documents? You'd be surprised. A lot of people do not. And either the links don't work or something got misspelled. One space, one dash, one misspelled letter throws off everything. So please test your links, okay? But wanted to show you how easy it is to customize this if it's not something that you already have, certainly something that you can take advantage of. Okay, so use it, love it, share it and let me know what you come up with. So we are going to rock and roll out with the last two parts of our training today. Sales ideas, your challenge, and then we are done. So hopefully, so far, so good. You guys are enjoying the training and you are gaining something from these recommendations. Yes, good. Smile emoji with heart eyes. I love it. I love it. Always. That's what I like to hear. So I alluded to a few of these sales ideas. Let's dig into the short list. BOGOs. I love BOGOs. Buy one, get one free. But there are lots of ways that you can do this, right? You can do a traditional BOGO, or you can do buy one, get one half off, right? Or you can do buy one, get two, or buy one, get three. It's up to you. What kind of BOGO opportunity do you want to share with your audience? Love, love, love BOGOs. How can you integrate at least one BOGO into your holiday sales campaigns? Number one. Number two, discounts, right? Percentage offer discounts and deals. What are they going to look like for you? Please do not give me 10% off during your holiday sales. That's not it. That's not hitting. That is not hitting. Okay, I need to see 45, 50, 60, 75% off. You need it to hit. (laughs) 
You need it to be a FOMO situation where people are like, fear of missing out. Let me figure out what I got to sell, who I got to call to get me this deal before it goes up and goes away. Some deep discount percentage offers, okay? That is number two. Number three, free. How are you going to integrate the word free into your marketing? Are you going to give away free gifts, free shipping, free bonuses, a free trial, free calls, free classes? Remember I said to you, some of my webinars I sell in and of it themselves. Some of my webinars I don't outright sell. I give them as a bonus. So you buy this thing, and then you're going to get access to a live training plus the replay as part of this offer, right? What can you give away for free? And, of course, this is a short list, right? Not every freebie that is relatable to you is here. So are there any type of freebies samples that you could do that you could integrate into your holiday sales? If so, what would those freebies be, okay? Freebies. The next one here, what other types of deals can you do? Doorbusters, right? So during the holiday sales season, there are certain deals that you have to get on certain days. They want you to get into the physical door. So they'll be like, listen, you got to come at 8 or 10 or whatever because this is going to be here, and once they're gone, they're gone, right? Can you do doorbuster deals? I did a couple of these where I'm like, listen, this is going to be X amount of dollars for the next three hours, for the next four hours, not the whole day, right? So people get it, grab it now because then it's going to go away, right? It's going to be four, $47 for the four, next four hours, and then after the four hours, it goes back to its regular rate. What kind of virtual door busters can you do, number one? Number two, daily deals, right? where every day you're offering something different. So when I dropped my 1111, I also had 1111 products to drop as well, right? 2022, drop a $20.22 cent offer, right? 2023, drop a $20.23 offer, right? What kind of daily deals can you offer? Or X days of deals. I have a training called the 12 Days of Christmas and 12 ways to do 12 days of Christmas, right? How can you create something that you're going to do as an ongoing series? Now, I will tell you this. Like I said before, I'm dropping these sales strategies on you. These are proven things. These are things that you guys see all the time as consumers that other people do, that other businesses do that attract you right? Can you integrate some of these sales strategies into your marketing campaign? Number one. Number two, if you find yourself either overwhelmed or not where, knowing where to start, that's where you have me, right? Either you can go over to usinsuccess.com forward slash call me and schedule one call or take advantage of that VIP BOGO deal. Get two VIP days and a clarity call with yours truly, right, so that we can spend 90-minute sessions brainstorming, strategizing, and work, working on your next plan, right? Um, I actually have a 90 – Wednesday is my clarity call day, and I actually have a BOGO 90-minute session that I'm doing with a client tomorrow. So um, it's definitely something that I like to do uh, on an annual basis. Either you can take it as a strategy you can try, or, again, if you do need that kind of session or experience from me, schedule a 90-minute strategy session with me. Now, they're always available. What's not always available is the BOGO deal. And what makes this one sweeter is that you also get an extra 30-minute session as well, right? Now, think about these two. Early holiday sale, right, or bring back holiday sale. I see why am I in case you missed it. So what does that look like? When I did my little guide to share that with you, that's an early sale, right? It's, it, it's not connected to any mainstream holiday that's happening this week. It's, it's not. But it's a precursor to what is to come. You don't have to wait until everybody is dropping their sales to drop yours. 
right? A couple of you, you could just drop a sale tomorrow and be like, hey, this is a sneak peek of what's to come, right? It's a great way to, number one, get ahead of the competition. It's a great way to soft launch and test to see what are some of your offers that people actually like. It's a great way to just make sales now as opposed to waiting to make them later. Lots of reasons why early sales just work. Number one, bring back sales too, right? So in addition to doing a Black Friday sale, you can say, hey, I'm bringing back Black Friday. We're going to do Black Friday part two. We're going to do Cyber Monday part two, right? Um, you can bring it back. So you go, oh, man, I missed Black Friday. Or, oh, man, I want to do it again. Do it again. Who told you you can't? <laughs> Rewind, come again. Who told you you can't do it twice or thrice, right? Bring it back. Um, so interestingly enough, I was doing a live and I was talking about Amazon Prime Day. Do you guys know about Prime Day? Are you Prime? Anybody a Prime member? Any Prime members in the building? I'm a Prime member. And so I was talking about Amazon Prime and um, somebody was like, what's that? What are you talking about? I'm like, Amazon Prime is their version of Black Friday. They did it in the summer. They And this year, I don't know if they – I don't recall them doing it twice last year, but this year they did it twice. <laughs> they were like, Let's bring back Prime Day. They did Prime Day Part 2, right, about a month ago. Um, and so not only are they like, listen, we're going to give you Black Friday in the summer, Prime Day in July, we're going to bring it back in October. Because if you thought it was nice before, let's do it twice, right? Um, so think about that as well, how you can create your own experiences for your audience, either an early holiday sale or a bring back sale. Um, I love to talk about, I have something called the Black Friday playbook. You may or may not have it if you're in the template club. Um, forgive me, not the template club. If you're in my Get Black Friday Ready 100-Day Challenge, there's a lot of stuff in there. The Get Black Friday 7-Day Challenge is in there in the 100-Day, as well as the Get Black Friday Ready playbook. I love that thing. One of the things I talk about is the fact that if you felt like you didn't get to do it as well as you wanted to or you didn't have enough time to prepare for it, there's nothing that says you can't try again. You can't bring it back again, right? Or if you thought it went really well and you're like, can I repeat that success twice? Bring it back or drop an early one, right? So out of curiosity, those of you who are here, anybody here feel like dropping an early holiday sale? this week, tomorrow, or <coughs> maybe doing some sort of BOGO, a free dot, 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 anything here that you go, ooh, I think I want to try that. Let me know. Drop into the chat. And like I said before, if you're listening via the replays, email me, sensesense.gmail.com, send me a voice message. Uh, and let's talk about it as well, right? Even if you weren't live and you catch me on the replay side, there's still an opportunity for you to engage. And I highly recommend either going to scissorsets.com forward slash call me or grabbing one of those VIP days with me if you would like for us to go through any of these together privately. BOGO, good. Free class. Love it. Might do a BOGO this weekend. Awesome. So I want you guys to get SMART, right? SMART goals. You know what that means. If you know what the SMART acronym is, drop it in there for me. Somebody drop the first letter or the first word of SMART. What's the first? If you know the S-M-A-R-T, SMART goals acronym, what does the S stand for? Right. Y'all are so awesome specific. So, of course, I want you to get smart with your goals. If you say you're going to do BOGO or you're going to do a free class, get specific. What? When? Who? Right? Get specific. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time Bound. Right? So, get smart with your goals. Start with the specific and move forward. The last thing that you're going to see on this list is subscriptions, right? So number one, are you going to give people a discount to a subscription offer that you currently have, number one? Or number two, possibly integrate subscription pricing into things you already do. 
So you have an offer. Maybe you want to break that offer into a two point, a two part or a three part pricing, so that more people take advantage of it. Um, I was doing my private class this past weekend. I shared a great deal. Number one, I shared a BOGO deal. Quite a few people jumped on that BOGO. Number one, and then number two. I gave people the opportunity to take advantage of another offer that was subscription-based, and people took advantage of that one as well. So thinking about the fact that some people are going to want BOGOs and grab those, or some people want your offer, but they're not in a position to pay for it all at once. So integrating some sort of subscription pricing payment plan can help you close more deals. And then last but not least when it comes to subscriptions is an annual subscription. Quite a few of the tools that I use, I don't pay month by month, but I pay annual. This is a really good time of year to give people annual experiences and or subscriptions because for some people, if it's within their budget, they're like, yeah, I'd rather just knock out the payment now and get a good rate now that's going to cover me all year and I don't have to think about it for the whole year versus have to pay more when I itemize what it's going to look like paying month by month. And I have a couple of annual ex subscriptions myself. So if you want to integrate subscription into your business, either making the most of what you have can you offer a discounted rate to an existing subscription program? Can you integrate or update subscription pricing for offers you want to sell during your holiday sales campaigns? Or can you brainstorm slash mastermind an annual holiday sales subscription offer to your audience? This is a good time of year to do that. So out of curiosity, anyone here have a subscription program? or, excuse me, I'm, I'm not tongue-tied, take-ups. Anyone either have a subscription offer or want to work on one as an end-of-year or New Year goal? Okay, I see someone says, yes, I do have one. Yes, I want to work on one. Okay, so it's a mix, a mix. Um, I definitely feel like having at least one subscription program or if a program is too robust for you, simply breaking up one of your high price point, high ticket offers into subscription pricing, that's another alternative too. So either developing a subscription program that's ongoing or for an extended period of time, an alternative to programs is just integrating subscription pricing, which is basically a payment plan, into selling one of your high-ticket packages, okay, working on one. Awesome. So last thing that I want you to do today is to PYP, pick your project. We talked about a lot today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's session. I shared with you some smart marketing strategies. So number one, you can pick one of those. Some of you said, man, I want to do reels. I think I want to do live. Live works, right? Pick one of those marketing strategies and run with it as a micro campaign. Micro, five days straight, seven days straight. If it worked, keep working it, right? But don't find you just need to overextend yourself or overwhelm yourself with doing it every day for a million days, five or seven days, number one. Use the holiday sales flyer template. Hopefully you guys, anybody going to use it? If you're going to use it, say me. <laughs> Are you going to try to use that holiday sales template? Me? Awesome. So use it. Feel free to share what you create with me. I'd love to see it. Post it in the Facebook group. Send me a link. Again, I would love to see what you guys come up with. It's just a piece of some of my good, good templates that I've been giving you, but it's definitely a piece that you can utilize to create a mini catalog of sorts to share with your audience. Create a last-minute holiday offer, right? We talked about quite a few last-minute offers, end-of-year bundles, New Year bundles, holiday guides. Some of you guys said, yeah, I think I want to create a holiday guide. That's another thing that's on this challenge, getting Black Friday ready, right? Working on some sales, whether it be BOGO or subscription or um, what else did we talk about? Percentages or a free dot, 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 right? 
are you going to work on one of those sales challenges? And then last but not least, update your website. <laughs> update your website. So your home page, your navigation link, the pages that you're driving traffic to are a reflection of the things that you are doing now. This is actually one of my favorite challenges when people talk to me. I say, listen, can you go to your website? Or can you go to the link that's in your social media accounts that you're sending traffic to? If you're going to your home page or your social media primary link in bio and those two pages are not reflecting what you're doing all right now, it's time for an update, right? If there's a disconnect between what people are seeing and what you want them to see, it's time for an update, right? So a part of this sales challenge is to, number one, pick one of these projects, but of course, ultimately keeping in mind if you don't have updates of your best or newest stuff on your homepage or, again, your link in bio page that you send people to when they see the link in your social media content, work on making those work for you. Now, I'm going to wrap up in just a bit, but I would love to know what, if any of these things resonated with you, number one. Feel free to drop that into the comment box for me. So let's do a quick recap. I do have one more thing to share with you, but before I get to that, let's do a quick recap of what we talked about today. If you have any final questions, now would be the time to ask that as well, okay? So we talked about sales ideas, last-minute offers, smart marketing, I gave you a challenge, I gave you a flyer, any of these really hit and found you found them to be helpful for you, let me know. The ideas, the flyer, the offer, the marketing, the challenge, I'd love to know, number one. Number two, again, any final questions you have for me, this is your opportunity to pop those into the chat so that I can see, okay? Um, and as you guys are just finalizing your questions and your comments, as always, thank you so much for participating. Um, de definitely make sure you download my holiday sales guide because, again, if there are any resources that I put in there that you would like to utilize, feel free. Those resources are literally available right now. Um, I do want to make sure that I am available to help you and support you and what it is that you're trying to accomplish. So if there's something else that you need and you want to talk to me privately, email me, gmail.com or on the sensesense.com website, click the gray tab on the right to send me a voice message. As you know, this is an end for today, but it's not the end for all things. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. So definitely think about if you want to work with me, not just now, but for an extended period of time. The Fire Start Your Year North Carolina workshop, virtual webinar workshop, as well as 12-month Jumpstart program is currently available. So if you do want to Work with me for three days and an awesome group of ladies. We have a great time during the weekend workshop, MLK weekend. Or if you want to work with me virtually, those opportunities are available. Now, I will say this. I try to do at least one or two in-person events here in North Carolina. But if you miss those and you still want to work with me, I do work with clients independently. So whether it be a one-on-one -on -one virtual some of my clients, honestly, they fly, they drive, they do what they need to do to come here to Greenville, and they work with me either for a day, for two days, or up to a week. So if you wanted to, outside of my in-person events, come and work with me in person privately. That opportunity is also available. Reach out, send me a voice message, send me an email. I'll let you know what that looks like. And outside of those resources and the annual program, of course, I do have a wealth of support resources for you over at sensesense.com forward slash work with me, ranging from graphic design services, web design services, and my setup for sales program. As part of setup for sales, you and I work together for three to six months to set up offers, to set up pages, to make it happen. So if you're looking for that extended coaching support, set up for sales, three to six months working on your, could be you want to create a digital library, a membership program, you want to create a course, you want to create a funnel. We work on either three or one major project, again, over the course of three to six months, 
as part of Setup for Sale. So other resources that I have, if you don't already know where they are, most of them you can find over at SusanSense.com forward slash work with me, in addition to just simply emailing me, letting me know what you're looking for. And again, I'll do my best to point you in the right direction. This was helpful and very encouraging. So very welcome. Very helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You guys are so awesome. You are very welcome. As always, thank you for participating in our Firestarter Circle, Holiday Sales and Marketing Mastermind. This basically wraps up a three-month, 90-day experience. I did one month on conversion and sales, one month on traffic and sales, wrapping it up with one month on holiday sales. So uh, that wraps up that period. And then, of course, next month, new month, new topic, new mastermind experience. As always, the firestartyouryear.com web space is where you can go to invest in a one year if you want to get access to pretty much some of my favorite things to do every year, including the monthly mastermind and my quarterly workshops. So if you know already, you want to be in the mix for buy and start your year, spring into action, print your profits, content to cash flow. I do webinar workshops every quarter. Those quarterly workshops, the monthly mastermind, the North Carolina in-person event, private one-on-one -on -one sessions, the Jumpstart program, Fire Start Your Year, all the details are there. And if you have questions and or need additional clarity, feel free to let me know. Like I said, my Fire Start Your Year program is limited. I have very small events for a small group of people. I rent a suite here in Greenville, North Carolina at the Hilton, and we just hang out, have a great time, um, binge work, and then go to the movies, eat food, kick up our feet, listen to some music, and make things happen. So um, Fire Start Your Year is what I love to do. And, of course, helping you create your products and your content, that is important to me too. So anything else that you need and you don't see, check in with me. And as always, I'll do my best to point you in the right direction. Till next time, take care. Mwah.